The Obama administration uh, may have an unlikely partner in the push to restore voting rights to millions of ex-cons. Uh, one of its most outspoken critics, the Republican senator, Rand Paul. Let's bring in our senior Washington correspondent, Joe Johns. Uh, he's got the details. Joe. Well, Senator Rand Paul disagrees with the Obama administration on most everything. Just sued the president over NSA phone data collection. He even delivered his own personal rebuttal to Mr. Obama's State of the Union address. But now, on this one issue of voting rights for felons, he's on their side. Surprisingly, when it comes to giving convicted felons the right to vote, conservative senator and Tea Party darling Rand Paul is right in line with the Obama administration and Attorney General Eric Holder. I don't think it's intentional, but there has, a ra has become a racial outcome on who's incarcerated in our country. And I think that's something that has to be addressed here, because not only is the incarceration, I think, unfair, then they get out and the voting rights are impaired. Today, Paul went so far as to appear at a hearing in his home state legislature, pushing the idea of changing the Kentucky Constitution to give the vote to convicted felons, sounding a little bit like the liberal Democrats who've been beating this drum for decades, saying disenfranchisement laws unfairly penalize American citizens who have paid their debt to society. I think particularly for nonviolent crimes, we should try to reincorporate people back into society. A cause the Democratic Attorney General took up once again last week. Those swept up in this system too often had their rights rescinded, their dignity dis diminished, and the full measure of their citizenship revoked for the rest of their lives. Come to the table. Paul's push to restore felons' voting rights is likely to win him some support if he chooses to run for president. But critics say he may be cutting off his nose to spite his face because it's an issue that plays to a Democratic base. Um, I would argue it looks more like you're being soft on crime, and that's not going to help him in a Republican primary. The Kentucky Senate voted to approve this measure, but the committee considering it essentially decided to insert a five-year waiting period before felons could vote, apparently because of concerns about criminal repeat offenders. So this will have to be hashed out before voters in Kentucky can decide the issue in the ballot. Eric Holder and Rand Paul working together on this issue. Joe Johns, thanks very, very much.